we're, uh, we're we're getting ready for the World Series. Obviously, a big event for uh, for Clifton Park and, and for the uh, the area as a whole. Uh, what we're doing today is is putting some special attention into uh, both the home plate uh, and pitcher's mound areas, as well as some of the base paths, and uh, really just making sure that everything is uh, is up to snuff. Well, basically, the Tri City Valley Cats uh, kind of has the the professional baseball team in the area. Uh, we see ourselves as, as stewards uh, for the game of baseball and you know part of that part of our mission is to, to give back to communities and give back to the game um, that's been so great in supporting us. Uh, so we're coming out today we have a, a field renovation program uh, that we've been doing for a number of years and um, this uh, was, was a special project that we were able to kind of fit in uh, during our season to, to try to help out to get ready for the event. So as most people know um, the, the the baseball field is actually set up off of home plate, uh, so it's very important that the home plate is, is level and square. Uh, what we did today is we came in and we installed a, a new home plate. Uh, we set it in a nice firm clay base so it doesn't move anywhere. Uh, basically we're in the process now of, of straightening the baselines uh, off of that and moving the bases to make sure that they are uh, at the correct distance and, and the correct angles. Uh, and then also we, we worked on the batter's boxes here. Basically, if you take the footprint of the batter's box, uh, we, we went in and we dug it up and we put down new clay bricks uh, so you don't get those really deep holes when, when the kids dig into the box here. Um, so, you know, that's important to make sure that, uh, that the kids have a, a safe and well-maintained playing surface and, and really that goes a long way to doing that. Start. My name's John Hudson with the Tri-City Valley Cats, head groundskeeper. Um, a good mound starts at its distance and height. The height you're going to want for this field is 10 inches, uh, depending on the, the league you're playing in, it all varies from there. Uh, what we're on today is going to be 10 inches high, that's from the top of the, the plate to the top of the rubber. Um, the distance from the apex of the plate um, to the front of the rubber is 60 foot 6 inches. Uh, so all those measurements are very important for the safety of the batter, the, the safety of the pitcher, uh, for his arm and, and whatnot for the play of the game. Um, Today we actually uh, we've rebuilt this mound. Uh, it was a little low and a little close, uh, so we had to move it back a little bit, um, about four inches. Moved it back and raised it about two inches. Um, just over time and erosion and the weather, um, they settle, frost heaves and such like that. Uh, so this one has got some age to it, so we just had to give it some TLC and bring it back to where it needs to be. Um, you can see we have clay in in this one now. We're working on the plateau. That's the only really flat part of the rubber. It's going to be about five inches wide, or five foot wide, sorry, by about three feet. So what you're going to want to do is go about six inches in front of the rubber. Um, from there, you're going to want to go down one inch for every foot that you go out. Uh, this field, we're going to do at about seven feet. Uh, that's going to allow the pitcher, when he's on his follow through, when he lands, he's going to land on some nice firm clay. Um, that's going to be able to hold his body and he won't slide. Um, but otherwise, this one's just about done. We're putting some finishing touches on it. Um, once we get the clay all set, we're just going to surround it with uh, infield mix, transition everything nice and smooth, and keep it covered. Um, I'm Drew Doty. I'm the assistant groundskeeper for the Brickman Group for the Tri City Valley Cats. And today, we're right now, we're actually in the middle of uh, rebuilding the first base area of the base paths to make, keep your base paths well maintained is to one thing is after every game you want to drag it out to get all the impurities out of the soil out of the clay to make sure that no uh, cleat marks are left in it because that'll create the bumps and create bad hops another thing you want to do is if you can take a leaf rake around each lip and rake out all the clay and the surface area stuff that gets into it to reduce the lip to help you know reduce the bumps so that no bad hops are taken uh, what they're doing here right now actually in front of the first base area is just firming up the baseline a little bit so that it won't eat away uh, as fast. It'll be nice and firm so people uh, they have good takeoff and uh, it's, it's nice and safe to play on.